Hello students, I am here with another video from the chapter of class 7th NCRT book that is Electric Current and Its Effects. So uh, before starting today's video, I would like to tell you all that till now what all things we have discussed in this chapter. We have discussed about the word electric current where which means that current is something which is moving continuously. Now if we talk about the current here in this chapter, so here we are talking about that the charges are moving from one place to another place or the charges are continuously moving in the form of current and that is why it is said to be as it is an electric current. Okay, next thing what we have discussed in this chapter was the uh, symbol, the symbols of electric circuit. Before that we have also seen what is electric circuit. Now when the current, if we are talking that current is flowing means the charges are flowing, it means that these charges are, uh, these charges are flowing in the, in some, I mean there is certain path where this charges, these charges are flowing. Now what is that path known as, what is that uh, way known as, where is this, uh, where this charges are moving. So this is known as the circuit. So what do you mean by a circuit? Circuit means it is a pathway which is followed by an electric current, okay? Or uh, a pathway where this electric current is flowing that is known as the electric circuit. Now when we need to draw a circuit, it is of two types. It could be a complete circuit or it could be an incomplete circuit. Now if we are saying that whether the circuit is incomplete and complete, it means that there might be certain components because of which, an, uh, which, because of which the electric circuit has been made of. So the components because of which the circuit is made up of is known as the components of circuit. Now what are those components, what are those parts? These parts are like uh, the battery or a cell which supplies electricity, which supplies the charges, which supplies the continuous energy for uh, these um, electrons or for these charges to move from one, uh, from one part of the wire to another part of the wire. Next component is the electric wire, uh, the wire where this wire is uh, used to connect the other components such as the switch and the electric bulb or instead of using a bulb we could use any other appliance because in the circuit which needs to which is going to show us the resultant or which is going to show us that the current is flowing in a circuit. Now when we talk about the electric circuit and these components this could be drawn in two ways. One could be in the form of diagrammatic representation whereas the another could be in the symbolic representation. So we have already seen how to draw the symbol of these electric car, uh, circuit components as well as we have also seen about the uh, we have also seen about the different I mean the symbols of the, of this electric circuit okay so why we are drawing the symbols of these components of electric circuit we are drawing the symbols to just save our time and it is going to give us the same uh, result or when we are drawing this electric circuit we could draw it in two ways either by drawing each and every in a, each and every component in an uh, in a diagrammatic way or in a elaborated way whereas we could only use the symbol for example if we write water in the spelling or uh, if we are going to write h2o both are the same things but what about uh, the symbols the same condition is with symbol of these electric circuit also because of the electric circuit, we are, uh, electric circuit is made up of these components. So each of these components plays a very important role in maintaining the circuit. Now any of the component of this electric circuit is not produced or it is not working properly. It means that the circuit is incomplete. And if all these components are going to work properly, it is known as an incomplete, that is known as a complete circuit. Okay. So here we have also discussed about these two, the differences between the uh, the complete as well as the incomplete circuit. Okay, now today I'm going to talk about the effect of this electric current, the effect of this electric current. Now we have already discussed about the uh, electric current. Now I'm going to tell you about what are the effects which is being shown by this electric current. So what are the effects? There are two types of effects of electric current. Now what are these effects? The effect, uh, the effect, the first effect is the heating effect. Okay. And the second effect is the magnetic effect.
okay now if we talk about the heating, heating effect so what is the meaning of the word heating effect here now why uh, we are saying that current shows some effects means when a current is flowing what all changes you can observe in that particular circuit what all changes you can observe we can observe that uh, suppose that i give you an example suppose that a bulb is growing for some time or you just switch on a bulb for some time then after switching it off you can touch that bulb okay now if you are touching that bulb what do you feel what do you feel you feel that it is going to become hot okay it is warmer it is going to it is uh, increase it, it is having an increase in temperature now if the temperature is increasing it means that the uh, means this the, that electric current is showing you certain effects certain result because of the uh, when the current is flowing it means that it is going to show you the uh, the the appliance is going to burn, the appliance is going to become warm or it could become hot okay just as we seen uh, as we saw just about the example of this electric bulb so we'll discuss this heating effect in detail what are the uh, effects of this electric current so first one is this heating effect so we'll discuss about this heating effect okay now what is this heating effect we say that when a current is flowing when a current flows it produces heat it produces some energy in the form of heat okay it could produce the energy in the form of light for example a bulb if you glow if you light a bulb or if you switch on a bulb for some time and after switching it off you just touch this once you are touching this it becomes hot okay now why this is becoming hot this is becoming hot because the charges are continuously flowing in this bulb and because of which what has happened this bulb started glowing okay this started glowing this bulb started glowing once this is completely split in a circuit now what happens to this after some time what happens it shows it has given one once the switch was on it started glowing it has started giving us the light energy okay if we talk about the tube light the leds all these are present in your homes to give you light okay so this is because this is present this is uh, what is about the current which flows and it helps us to uh, it helps us to light the room okay it means it is going to give us the light energy as well as the heat energy so we are just going to discuss about the heat energy over here we are not going to discuss about the light energy because we have already seen this light energy in the form or in the in last class that was the, that was your sixth class we have seen the structure of bulb how this bulb is glowing and how the uh, working of the bulb is also there okay fine i'll discuss this more when i'll teach you about the structure of bulb again because Uh, some part is present here also in your seventh class now i will discuss more about this heating effect now can you tell me some more examples where this heating effect of electric current is being shown or uh, once you switch on some switch on the appliance it is going to it is going to become hot now what are uh, can you give me some examples i think uh, if you would just look around in your house you will be easily be giving me some examples which is based upon this heating effect okay heating effect of electric current now we'll cite some examples the examples upon which i mean the examples which shows the heating effect of this electric current these are the examples of certain devices certain appliances which helps uh, us to see this heating effect is that the toasters okay okay then the microwave is there nowadays then the iron electric iron because of which you are ironing your clothes fine you are pressing your clothes fine so here these are certain examples okay geysers are also there so uh, the geysers what we call it as the water heater okay 
so these are some ways these are certain uh, these are some of the devices some of the appliances which work upon this heating effect of electric current okay if the bulb is also there which works upon heating effect okay next oh, we could see uh, the heater is there simple the wired heater is there which is used for uh, in the winters also okay blower is there so many um, the list is very long so you can add some more devices which works upon this heating effect of electric current now children see that heating effect is because of the flow of electrons because of the flow of charges these charges contains energy now when the energy is uh, ex uh, means it is going to be liberated this uh, energy which is going to be given off then what happens this shows certain effects these uh, these uh, this shows uh, some heating quality okay now this quality is being enhanced this qu this quality of uh, heating effect is going to be increased in these devices means this works upon the principle of heating effect of electric current okay so this works upon the theory this works upon the concept this works upon the uh, la law of heating effect of electric current okay so i'm just talking about the concept of heating effect of electric current is that uh, when we take this heater or this electric and what is common in them okay first i'll take up the electric bulb because uh, this you have already studied in your lower class so uh, if we talk about the structure of a bulb then what is present if i draw a bulb here suppose that this is a bulb okay so this is a bulb which shows you the certain structures inside now suppose that this bulb is present and how is this going to work what are the parts of this bulb so here the device is present and uh, this is going to uh, means this, there are certain parts of this bulb because of which this is going to uh, give us energy now the main thing here what we are talking about or what we have to talk about in this chapter is this filament of the bulb now what about this filament what is this filament about this filament is nothing but this filament is just the it is just it is made up of one of the special type of wire which is highly coiled okay you could see that it is highly coiled structure now this structure this filament this wire is made up of the um, so one of the element which is known as tungsten okay this is made up of tungsten now what is this tungsten tungsten is an element which is uh, helpful in making this or because of which this filament of the bulb is made up of now what is so special about this tungsten so this tungsten tungsten is an element which is having a property when the light passes in it what hap i mean when the current is passing through this tungsten it is not it is going to glow why it is going to glow because energy is going to be liberated energy is going to be released in the form of heat as well as light so this bulb electric bulb is going to glow and this tungsten filament is going to uh, pass the current the charges will be flowing through this tungsten filament and as the charges the number of charges are increasing because of the flow of the current it is going to give us light because it starts glowing it starts giving us light for example if uh, if we just if you say that an iron piece is there or one iron small iron rod is there you are burning this at high very high temperature what happens to it so that starts that starts showing you color or that iron rod starts showing you certain uh, red color structure i mean red color you can see that uh, why this is uh, showing a red color because whenever the metal is going to be burnt at a very high temperature it starts glowing it starts burning it starts melting and as it starts melting it starts giving us light okay or but that iron is not being used because it requires a very high temperature to start uh, to uh, and it will start melting so here this tungsten has a property this tungsten has a very good ability to resist the light i mean uh, the electric current which is passing through it it could hold it could uh, it it is able to uh, pass that high uh, amount of current from it now when this current is flowing through the tungsten filament what happens it is going to glow it is starts giving it is starts giving us light 
Now, once it starts giving us light, it is going to come out through this transparent glass uh, cover, which is present on the uh, glass, okay, or which is present over the bulb. Because of which uh, we can see the things which we we can see, which which we can easily understand that the bulb is glowing and it starts becoming hot once it is closed. Now what happens here in this heating effect of electric current shows uh, this is going to tell you that when the electric cell is there and a bulb and a switch is there in with a connecting wire you have to make a circuit okay after this when once we are making the circuit we have to keep the cell keep the switch in on position and after some time we need to switch it off and then we need to touch the bulb we will see that this bulb is where it becomes warm or simply we touch that wire it becomes warm touch the bulb now you can see that it is in on position but once it is switched off it is going to give us certain uh, light it is going to give it is going to show the heating effect fine now uh, next what we need to discuss is that what is present i mean we'll discuss about the electric iron and the electric heater so what is present in the electric iron and electric heater because of which it is giving us the it is giving us light okay or we can see we can feel the heat of that electric uh, heater or the electric iron because of which the uh, the clothes gets iron and uh, there is no crease means uh, when there it when our clothes are wrinkled then all the wrinkles are being removed just because of the presence of this uh, this electric iron in our homes okay we use them very frequently fine now i'll just discuss about uh, what is present in this heater okay the heater has you can see that in the diagram which is given there in your ncrt book which shows that there is a wire or if we have if we have to see if we take a wire of iron or aluminum or anything you can any metal you could take and you just heat it for some time if you heat it for a long time it starts giving you light okay it starts giving you heat as just i told you in the form of the tungsten or when you uh, we, you can see that it is going to give you it is going to show you light or we could see easily we could see that the um, it starts glowing okay now oh, this uh, fact this very fact or this is uh, the principle behind the heater or, or the electric heater what we say okay so what happens here this is a very good example of Uh, the heating effect of electric current fine now what happens in this heater this heater has a coil okay it has a coil now what is the difference between that filament and a coil filament was just of that tungsten okay now we are talking about a coil so this coil is a very uh, it is a it is a large wire which is just twisted like this okay it is twisted like this now you could see in the electric heater also which is Uh, nowadays it i think uh, as uh, the new variety of heater is being available but when it was in the olden days we had that circular uh, heater where this uh, i mean this coiled structure was present in the center once this was switched on it starts glowing it starts giving you light okay it starts giving you heat energy now uh, this is this coil structure this uh, uh, this spring structure which is made up of wire is known as a coil so coil uh, means the coil only it is only the, the meaning of the coil word is a number of turns okay now we can see that this heater has the coil of wire made up of wire once the electric current was flowing through it when the electric current was flowing through this wire it is through this coil it starts giving you heat as well as light okay now this heat and light is going to uh, it is going to be utilized for cooking food it could be utilized just for warming the room or room heaters are there even the blowers are also there nowadays the exhaust are being placed with this heater because of which we can uh, feel the um, the hot air which is coming out from those blowers in the winter season so what is the speciality of this coil so this coil is also known as element 
okay so this coiled structure which is present in uh, present in the heater which uh, starts glowing after some time once the electric current is current is flowing through it it is going to it is known as a coil or it is also known as the uh, uh, element so this element is present and this element is the only thing which uh, which is going to glow it it is a coil of wire or what is an element this element is a coil of wire which is present in that heater okay now next thing is that uh, the element is present in electric iron also similar to this electric heater so this iron also electric iron also has the element which which give which gives us heat and light energy when it when the electric current is passed through it okay so this element is made up of the coiled structure now here uh, see uh, one blue box is given near in ncert book which says bujo could not see the element of an electric heater as you could see in the electric electric iron the this element is not visible because it is present inside whereas in electric heater we could easily see we could easily have we could easily see that element which is present in that electric heater okay now next thing what is happening is that paheli told him that electric appliances such as immersion heaters hot plates iron geysers and uh, the electric kettles and hair dryers also have the element inside it we have ever seen have you ever seen such uh, or such ever seen such an appliance okay we have seen of course yes we have seen we have seen that uh, dryer is present we have the electric iron in our homes we have uh, the electric heaters in our homes so all these things work upon the principle of this electric uh, heating the electric current when it is passing through it is going to give rise to the heat energy as well as the light energy okay sometimes only the heat energy is being observed as we have discussed in this electric iron in the electric heater or in the um, in the other appliances like water heater is also present okay similarly the uh, whenever the current is flowing what happens to uh, the bulb also i have told you now this is going to there is one more concept that the amount of heat produced in the wire depends upon its material okay now why the different amount of heat and light is going to produce if we compare the heat and light which is coming out from this heater okay if it is coming out from this iron or it is coming out from other electrical appliances now why this heat energy heat is different in both the condition okay or the dryer is there or uh, we could say that water heater is there so why the different amount of heat is generated when uh, the heat is produced when the when we are, we are when we are seeing these examples so heat is different amount of heat is different now why this amount of heat is different this amount of heat depends upon which is produced by these which is produced by all these materials is different i mean this is going to uh, be dependent upon its material it is going to be dependent upon the material material of the wire okay or the um, wire because of which it is made up of it also depends upon the length okay next it also depends upon the thickness thickness of what the material of wire the length of wire the thickness of wire so there's a different uh, thus for different requirements different types of materials are being used and different different length is also used and different thickness of this wire is used okay so what we what is made up of this material if it is made up of a very the wires of electric circuit Uh, do not normally becomes hot yes because it is made of different wire and it has a larger capacity for the flow of electrons for the flow of electricity uh, and if it is going to become hot just like the just just like the wire which was present in the element or which was present in the electric iron uh, the da daily what will happen it is going to blow it is going to uh, melt the cover which is present or the insulation cover which is present over that electric wire could also be damaged okay similarly here one wire is there we could see that this wire also has this black cover so this is known as insulation 
this is known as insulator cover or this is simply say it is said to be as insulated wire why because inside this we have wire in it but still we are using this wire we are using this uh, because we should use this wire safely that is why we are using these uh, insulated wires fine now we are if we are talking about the material the material of the element the material of the wires should be in such a way that it could easily pass the current now we are talking about that this current is dependent upon these three things now what kind of material we require all these things we are talking about for the wire okay because if it is made up of from a good conducting material it is going to give rise it is going to help us in the flow in the in the flow of um, electric current very easily so what uh, this book is what the what is being said in your book is that the wire used for making electric circuit do not normally becomes hot yes of course because large amount of current is flowing uh, day and night in the wires as we are uh, using the wires uh, for running different appliances for running different uh, devices but still there is uh, the current is flowing but still it is not going the, the wires are not glowing in your house okay so why this is happening this is because of the material with which it is made up of okay so it is made up of copper or uh, the most of the time it is made up of copper on the other hand the elements of certain electrical appliances become so hot that they easily they, that uh, that color or that heat is easily visible as in the case of heat and uh, heaters as in the case of electric iron which is easily visible okay so the filament or even in the light also in the bulb also the filament of an electric bulb gets heated in such a way to such a high temperature that it starts glowing it starts giving you light okay if the large current passes through a wire then the wire becomes hot and then may even melt and break now is this possible to uh, uh, is this possible for a wire to melt and break okay so certain activities are given uh, that amount of heat when it is flowing in the in a circuit or in a particular appliance where this breaking and making of circuit could be easily being made and that will be that will we will be studying in the another part because here we just need to uh, see all these things uh, that is because of which a wire is made up of so if wire, if we are talking about the wire which is present in our house it should have been made with certain materials which could easily allow the current to pass okay if e if the easily um, if the easy amount of current could be passed through them then it is not going to melt it is not going to break and still we cannot uh, see that uh, the uh, that fan is running and it stops after some time because the wire has been melted no it's not like that continuously the current is flowing and the light is glowing in our house the leds are working the bulbs are working the tube lights are working and but what happens if sometime it is getting broken off so once it is broken it means that the circuit is incomplete and now the electric current is not flowing as we have uh, already seen this concept earlier when i was teaching you about the types of circuit based upon the flow of current amount of flow of current in it or not okay whether the current is flowing in it or not fine so next we will talk about the length of the wire so more the wire the length is there the lesser amount of current would be flowing so because of which see here comes the here one more topic is there which is actually which is present which is there in the higher classes that is known as the resistance okay the resistance is a property of this electric wire uh, of the electric current which is not allowing the things to pass the current to pass through it okay it is opposing it is just opposite to electric current what is resistance resistance is just opposite word for electric flow of electric current okay now if this length is more or less it is going to actually it is going to uh, being it is going to affect the amount of flow of current longer the length shorter the length would be it was going to be a much more good quality of wire next is that thickness is also important if more thick wire is there it means it is allowing more electrons to flow through it if the thickness is more it means that the amount of electrons will be more in it it means that more amount of energy more amount of current could be easily being flown through this thick wire and if the thin wire is there it means that the uh, lesser electrons are present to flow here so lesser amount of current is going to flow so this is what is being discussed here in the amount of, that is why this amount of current uh, which is flowing or the amount of heat which is being generated is different 
in different wires just because of the material which is made up of we cannot make the wire with the wood we cannot make the wire with the plastic we cannot make the wire with the uh, another insulator and material so wire should be made up of only with the conducting material okay next what is that the length <coughs> the length is there the thickness is there okay fine so we have seen about the different uh, appliances uh, which is going to work upon this heating effect so children one more thing we will discuss that is the device as i told you that is this make making and breaking of the circuit is possible is the making and breaking of the um, wire actually it is possible or not so we are going to discuss this in the next class children so that was all about today's video so we have studied about the heating effect of electric current in different appliances we have seen the examples of uh the two things that is electric um, heater as well as the electric iron okay where the element is present what is the element it is a coil of wire which is allowing the large amount of heat to flow through it and because of which that heat is going to generate and that heat is going to give us uh, it is going to solve the problem fine so that was all about today's video children i'll meet you all in the next class